Okay, so I'm pulling on a little extra of the cable. Just, I'm gonna need it to get down to the clog, I suspect. So just as a side note, uh, I was using this product to, uh, to um, break the clog uh, before I used the auger. And I, so I just wanted you to see that that's what's causing the discoloration, so you're not grossed out um, uh, from the toilet water. It's, it's just discolored, it's not waste. Now I, I shut the water off at the spigot so that when I uh, put my foot on the, uh, the kickstand, and the valve for the toilet opens to release this water, no more water is flowing out like into the toilet, like drain water. Because if with this clog here, if I put more water in it, it'll overflow the, the, the toilet. So I already shut that water off. I'm doing my best to uh, give you access. Okay, there's the rest of the water. And uh, so it's fully open right now, you can see. And uh, the water is stuck. So I'm gonna put this, this is the spearhead, by the way, that I'm using. It's fastened on there nice and tightly. Don't wanna lose it in the drain, obviously. Oh, wow. And I'm just pushing down and, wow. And I'm going down further, but I feel like I already just kicked through that. Wow. Then I need more. I'm surprised. If I actually just went through some of the backup or the clog, well, there it is. There it is there. Okay, so uh, I got to keep this kickstand down and use my other foot here to run the machine. Here's the foot pedal uh, for me to run the uh, the auger. Do um, you think you could put your foot on this in here? Right. Okay, so I have my, my wife is holding down the kickstand and I'm going to operate this this uh, auger. So here we go. Oops, I didn't uh, tighten the thumb screw. So now I'm tightening it. After you loosen it to pull out more cable and then you tighten it so the auger can work. Here we go. Okay, so you saw this auger do its work in unclogging the uh, the toilet. I just thought I'd give you some information on how it operates um, outside of just seeing it at me operate the cable. There is a, a spearhead uh, connection. It screws on to the end of the cable um, with a lock washer and holds on pretty tight. You don't want to lose this down your drain. There are three other different types of um, attachments. And uh, this one here looks like that could cut. I mean, these are to clean the edges of the pipe of piping that's in the same diameter as the uh, attachment. But uh, these will definitely cut through. Um, you know anything in my estimation that you might have um, in in your pipes but they recommended that you use this this tip to uh, explore and to uh, make the first attempt at breaking the clog so that's what I use you, you um, there is a uh, there's a thumb screw here and uh, when you're <coughs> pulling the cable out you want it loose and when before you start the auger you need to tighten it so that it will actually spin the auger uh, without uh, releasing any any further cable. So you tighten the screw to hold the uh, cable uh, when, before you turn the, the auger on. Now the, uh, so this auger comes with a uh, power box, which um, allows you to operate the auger with a foot pedal. So basically that's just sitting there. And when I press, I can hear that button, I don't know if you can hear that clicking, but it clicks on and off so that your hands can be free to hold the cable of the auger. So this case, this drill gets hooked into um, gets hooked into this box, and the box is hooked to the switch pedal. This goes into the wall, and um, now the uh, drill is 
is uh, controlled by the foot pedal. So you can have your hands free to work to hold the cable while the, the drill turns on. Um, and before you use the kick pedal, uh, there, there is a trigger device here on the, um, on the drill. If it's in the open position and you kick the foot pedal, it will not run. You have to put the dr drill in and then press the lock button on the side of the handle to hold it and make sure that the uh that the d direction of the drill is um forward and not in reverse and there are markings on the uh, on the switch here for forward and reverse um th i recommend that you um if you're in a campground and you you, you want to use one of these that you ask around um the campground if anyone owns one to borrow it or maybe to offer some money to the guy for having bought it he's probably not getting a lot of usage out of it you know but uh you know it's a great tool but it's 315 dollars at um home depot so you know it's a big investment but for my uh, I, I feel like there's going to be occasions where i'll be able to use it um on the job i bought it but if there was someone in the campground who had one i wouldn't have bought it i would have borrowed it